Konnichiwa YouTube, this is KaritoFang85, and today, we are counting down the top 5 waifus of Blizzard's Overwatch. Because, let's face it, no waifu could ever compare to the goddess of music Miku, but they is a pretty good. Number 5 is Tracer. This British bombshell is as bodacious as she is quick on her feet. It's a V for victory, and an A plus for that ass. Number 4 is Widowmaker. This arachnid mamacita targeted my heart from a mile away. With her sexy outfit displaying her busty blue chest what and- What the hell is going on here? I'm doing a video for my YouTube page, you know, the top 5 Overwatch waifu? What is a waifu? It's anime slang for wife. You mean you want to marry one of these gay Pixar characters? Kinda. I want to see your top five. I really do. Well, Dad, number five is Tracer. Uh, she looks like a goddamn lesbian. I'd fuck her. Next up is Widowmaker at number four. She has a sweet ass. Is she a Victoria's Secret model? And this here is Mercy at number three, and oh, Mercy. Is she Pegasus? I'd love to ride her. Number two is Diva and that bodysuit. She looks like one of those Christmas tree gnomes. No, no, it's supposed to be a really serious game. All right, let's cut to the chase. Who's number one? May, of course. Whoa, who's this fat Eskimo whore? You must love Frumpy Dumper, son. I yes, I do prefer thick girls, Dad. Blizzard added girls of many different nationalities and varying body types. It's all very inclusive. Inclusive? But you didn't pick any of the Negroids or that biker dyke. Well, I mean, yeah. Are there any trannies? I want to see one with a big, fat, estrogen-filled cock. You don't have to ask the internet twice. Just look. This might be the game for me. Boy, I'm sweating bullets over here, and my fucking sausage is sizzling! Oh, fuck. Who is that? My fucking job. I had to go to Walmart and fucking play another eight hours shift out of nowhere. God damn it. Just fucking feed the cat. Mmm. Why is my son like this? Is it my fault as a parent? No, it's society's fault. The problem is there's no more bullies. Plain and simple, in the last 20 years, the schools and liberals killed them all. Now we only have cyber bullies that make depressed kids drink bleach, deploy SWAT teams for fun, and are all antisocial. Without real bullies, there's no one to keep order. It's like in nature. Wolves keep the deer population in check. Without the wolves, deer overpopulate and they eat all the fucking grass. Now the grass is pop culture. Without bullies, the nerds rose up and destroyed it. Ate all the fucking grass. Now every movie is about comic books or some shitty 80s reboot. It's cultural collapse. When I was a kid, I saw the United States land on the fucking moon. Live on TV. And what do kids nowadays get to see? 9-11, an endless war for oil, Caitlyn Jenner, phony politicians. They're overstimulated underachievers, autistic doped up crumb bums, a country of politically correct, limp-wristed jerk-offs who hide behind keyboards and complain about bathroom rights. Well, I'm mad as hell and I'm not gonna fucking take it no more. Dad, Dad, are you okay? <sighs> Who's that? What are you doing home from work, son? Oh, they, they fired me. They fired everyone. They placed us all freaking machines. That's terrific. And I'm, I'm unemployed. You're out of work. Thanks, Obama. On the plus side, I did get us food from KFC Taco Bell. And hey, look, Tracer's on the cup. Oh, that's terrific. Well, if Taco Bell's down with Overwatch, I guess I am too. So am I. I love you, son. I love you too. You know, go ahead and subscribe if you want. Uh, if you want to add me on Overwatch, play some games, my battle.net is uh, Silvermania, hashtag 11343. If you want to help donate to the worst cause on the planet, uh, you can send us money on PayPal. 
We also have a bunch of new t-shirt designs right here. They're uh, interesting. And you know what? I had a lot of help on this episode. My friends at Veeg helped me out a lot. Uh, that's the video entertainment analysis group. Please check them out. Smut Cave helped me out a lot. I like Smut Cave. Smut Cave is one of the best shows on the internet. My friend Tabitha and a bunch of other Facebook people, whatever. And a big shout out to Ross Fairies from Fanboy Fairies. Uh, that he played the sun in the video you just watched. You can check out his channel here. And of course, I did an episode on Silvermania a few weeks ago at PAX East, where I made fun of a bunch of people. You can check that out here. <laughs>